Hi, I'm Jarl. Just got back from doing a buyer requested video to a golf course home in the 55 plus retirement community of Sunland Springs Village in Mesa. So I hope you enjoy this video and if you're looking for a home for yourself in an Arizona retirement community, please visit my website at www.justjarl.com. Thank you very much. I look forward to meeting you in person and I'd appreciate your business. Enjoy the video. So Bill and Lynette, here we are at the front of this golf course home here. It sits on the south side of the street facing north. Got a beautiful tile roof, two car garage. It was built in 2002. It's a, 1900, a little over 1900 square feet. It was the original 1750 floor plan. They expanded the living rooms, the dining room area, and the den and made the guest bedroom longer. Okay. Please forgive me my misspeakings. We're doing some live, raw, unedited, lots of blooper video. Here we are looking down the street. To the west. And then across the street. the north. These homes here are directly across the street from you. And then here's looking down the street to the east. So walking up to the front of the home here, our front patio faces north, but we have some gorgeous views of the Superstition Mountain from this front patio. And uh, there we are. And we do really have some very nice views. No homes will be built over there. That is part of the golf course, that empty area. It looks like an empty lot, but that is the Superstition Mountains there. Walking on the side of our garage here, we have a sidewalk that goes all the way around back. We've got a place to set our garbage cans, as well as a door that comes out the side of the garage here. So we're, here we are in the backyard on the south side of the home. We've got lots of nice landscaping here. We've got this large pergola here that you and I were talking about, Bill. A lot of extended concrete there and if you didn't want all of that aluminum awning over the patio you could make it shorter cut some of it off what have you and then here we are looking down looking to the south across the course here and again that is the number uh, three or number six T forgive me I should have checked on that here Now we're on the uh, east side of the home. That first window there, that looks out your uh, third bedroom or den. It's kind of, it's long and narrow the way they did that so they could make the, uh, the third, uh, second bedroom extra large. And then a large picture window looking out your living great room area. And then the next patio door there as we move from left, from right to left, uh, it comes out your dining area from the kitchen and the far patio door there comes out your master bedroom. You have a 200 amp electrical panel as is, is the case with all of these homes. You have your electric, uh, your watering system and then you have your Quest and Cox for internet and phone and TV. A lot of desert landscaping in this yard. It is receiving automatic waters, but uh, doesn't take much water for a lot of these plants here. Stepping in the front door, beautiful vaulted ceiling in the whole great room and entryway.
And when we first step into the home, if we would go left, we'd go to our guest bedrooms. And this is what they've made different in this expanded 1700 floor plan. Because your 1700 floor plan would have a little over, uh, your 1750 floor plan would have a little over 1750 square feet. They made this whole area, living area, larger. As well as your dining area. And this whole area is vaulted. Again, we have the split bedroom floor plan, master on the west side of the home, guest bedrooms on the east side of the home. And that archway there that goes to the garage to the right, laundry room straight ahead, and master bedroom to the left. Beautiful kitchen, upgraded cabinets, very nice granite countertops. I took lots of pictures of that as well. Vaulted ceiling over the kitchen area. Some pull out uh, drawers in the bottom parts of the cabinets. Hopefully we're not making you too dizzy here with this video. Stepping into the master bedroom here, our laundry room with pocket door to the right. This tile throughout the home, except for the bedrooms, I believe is 20 inch tile all laid on the diagonal. And we have a I was going to say, we, here we are stepping into the master bedroom. Uh, patio door going out to the back patio. Nice upgraded ceiling fan. A really nice upgraded Berber carpet with the extra wide trim board. These were all updates in the last couple of years in the home. And then stepping in towards the master bath. We got double vanities. And this nice archway. A lot of people will put a pocket door on that wall if they want to close off the, uh, the bathroom area. Large walk-in closet. Like I said, this whole uh, master bedroom, this whole floor plan was extended a little over 200 square feet from the original design of it. And then we have a separate uh, garden tub and oversized shower. Lighting's off a little bit. I did take some extra pictures here. Nice uh, linen closet down to the end, and you have a separate room for your stool. Still in the master bedroom. Looking back towards the hallway that goes towards the, towards the laundry room and the garage. And there's that patio door that looks out into the backyard. Here we are in the garage. We have a newer updated hot water heater, 50 gallon, water softener, wash sink and cabinets above the sink. A door going off to the side where our garbage cans are. We have a pull down steps to the attic. And even though we wouldn't get much benefit of it, we do have an insulated garage door because it faces north, we'll never get any direct sun on the garage door but it is nice to have it. And then you have some very nice uh, cabinets in this garage. So coming in from the garage, again, looking back into your great room area. And we'll take you towards the uh, guest bedrooms. Looking back towards the front door. Nice security door on that front. And then looking down the hallway. Straight ahead is the guest bath. We have a large hallway closet.
nice six panel doors. The whole interior of the house was just recently painted and all the light fixtures were replaced. And this bathroom has a full tub and shower. IRI stool. So we're in the guest bedroom, very large bedroom. This would have been the den in most of uh, the 1750 floor plans, but this is larger and extended, and they made a true bedroom out of it. It's got a hunter green carpet in it and a nice size uh, walk-in closet for it. Again, this carpet, whether you like hunter green or not, it is, it is a new carpet. We've got a pocket door there that closes off uh, the closet. Again, it is a nice size walk-in closet. Everything, floor to ceiling, in the inside of this home has been painted in just the last few years. This is the uh, third bedroom. Now, this would have been the largest of the bedrooms in the 1750 floor plan uh, of the guest of the den and the guest bedroom. Uh, they made this a little narrower so that they'd have a larger uh, family room area. Again, new Berber carpet, new ceiling fan. This would make a perfect den slash guest room. But it still is a very nice size room. Still in the third bedroom here. And that's your closet. Looking down the hallway, I'm standing in the uh, guest bathroom. Second and third bedrooms to my left and right. Nice hallway closet. Bill and Lynette, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. My name is Jarl Kubot with West USA Realty and Arizona Retirement Communities. I hope this video helps provide you some of the information you were looking for. And uh, if you see any other homes or have any more questions about this one, please give me a call. You can reach me at 480-710-6326. Or again, visit my website at www.justjarl.com. I look forward to meeting you in person and I truly appreciate your business. Thank you.